Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Little Man Computing. So if you followed the previous tutorials you'll have learned the basic functionality of the Little Man computer, you know how to do additions, how to store, um, how to do uh, subtractions and how to do a loop. So this is kind of the next step from there actually using loops for practical purposes. Now you may have noticed there is no command in the LMC for multiplication. So we have to do multiplication in a slightly clever way. So if you think about multiplication, if you were to do 5 times 4, what's actually happening is you're actually just going 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So that's exactly what we can do in the LMC. We can use a loop to repeatedly add the number together until we perform the required amount of um, additions, if you like, to make the multiplication correct. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to take two user inputs and store the result in a variable. So we've got them to use throughout the rest of our code. We need to start off a loop because we need to do multiple additions to perform the multiplication. Now this is slightly counterintuitive. What you need to have is a placeholder variable. So this has a value of zero, because you can see it declared down here. And this is used to hold the, um, the running count for the addition. Okay. So the first thing we do is we add the contents of num1 into our placeholder variable total. So, you know, 1 times 2 is, you know, obviously 2. So 2 plus 0 is 2. So it does that first part correctly. And then we obviously store the result. We load up number 2 and we subtract the value of 1 from it. Because what we need to happen, we need to have a way of making the continued addition um, stop at some point. So what we can do, if we think about, you know, 5 times 4 example, we, need, we can go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, quit. Now we can't quite do it that way. So what we're going to do, we're going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and quit. And then we'll deal with the extra addition towards the end. So that is our running total. And then we have to obviously store the result of that. And then we use BRP. So BRP is branch while positive and zero is positive, hence we get the extra um, one addition. So we'll go back up to the top and carry on going and adding until the value of num2 goes below zero. We then load up the total, which now contains one addition too many. So to get around that, we just subtract the value of num1 again, and that gives us now the correct answer. We store the correct answer and we output it, and we are done. That is multiplication in the little man computer. Um, obviously, you need to declare all your variables down here, as you've seen in previous tutorials. And if you don't want it to have an initial value, just that. If you want to have initial value, you can put it in there. I hope that makes sense, and I hope you are now um, confident to go ahead and code up some multiplication. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. Bye for now.